If I were to ask you what is the most broken item in Skyblock, you'd probably respond with something generic, like Hyperion or Terminator. And yes, both of them are extremely overpowered, but they have a price tag to justify it. But in Skyblock, there are some items that are extremely overpowered, but you can buy them for literal pennies. So in this video, I'll be covering 25 items in Skyblock that are extremely overpowered for their price. There are two reforges for Mage and Berserker that cost almost nothing but give you a massive damage boost. They are the Luxurious Pool that has a 100% chance to drop from the Arachne boss and gives you a ton of crit damage and attack speed. The next one is the Ender Monocle, which is the second best reforge for mages. It drops from the Watchers in the end and gives a bunch of intelligence. Now since you probably got the Silky Reforge, your crit damage is way higher compared to your strength. This is where two items come into play. The Sword of Bad Health that drops from any of these mobs and gives you an additional 100 strength. The Ragnarok Axe that drops from the Blade Soul mini boss can give you more than 411 strength. If you have the Withered Reforge on it with Hot Potato Books, a Jasper Scroll and a fine Jasper Gemstone. Did I mention you can star it? A lot of people ignore their equipments, but I'd like to tell you that they are extremely important because of the attributes present in them. And some really cheap but useful equipments are the Glowstone Gauntlet. All you need is Glowstone Collection 5 and you could get multiple in-game tier attributes for less than 10 mil. A lot of hype mages farm the Magma Necklace. So you could probably snag one with decent attributes for cheap. You could probably get a good blaze belt for cheap, but I'd recommend using the implosion belt. As combined with the gauntlet of contagion, it is extremely OP. You can use the gauntlet of contagion to one tap T4 void looms. It's quite simple. You kill the other guy's boss while your boss is close and it'll deal a lot of damage to your boss and sometimes even one tap it. I'll link a video explaining this in the description. Please go watch it after you finish watching this video. I cannot stress this enough, but mycelium and red sand minions are absolutely broken. They are dirt cheap but make a lot of coins every day. You should also get a soul flow battery, as the price of soul flow is really high right now, and it legit makes 160k coins per day which is more than some of the best minions in the game. If you're just starting out Skyblock, I would recommend getting the full Ender set, including the equipments, as it is a massive damage boost for stuff like Zealots. Here's how you obtain all the pieces. And if you are mid-game, I would recommend Mastiff and the Pooch Sword as it allows you to deal a lot of damage. I wouldn't recommend Sorrow farming though, as it only makes a 100k combat XP an hour. But for Slayers, it's a really broken setup. Everyone wants to increase their damage, but there is something more important. It's your DPS or damage per second. And one of the best sources of DPS is Ferocity that allows you to double hit. And if you use a Handy Blood Chalice, and a god pot with the zombie brain mix in. You will deal 30% more damage per second. Getting museum levels can be difficult sometimes. But since the last museum update, you can gain a ton of museum XP for dirt cheap. And it is done by using the dungeon weapons, as they have the scavenger 5 enchant that costs more than 10 million coins. Most mining setups are extremely expensive and early game mining makes literally nothing. But there is an early game mining method that makes 7 mil per hour. The method I am talking about is sludge mining. Right now sludge juices are extremely expensive and in just one minute of mining, I was able to make more than 100k coins. If you use mineral armor, you can make an extra 20k every minute. To use this setup, you will need 1500 mining speed though. Put all your mithril powder into mining speed, 
until you have 1500 speed and put all your gemstone powder into the mole perk. If you cannot reach 1500 mining speed with just mineral, I would recommend using a few sorrow pieces and the heated reforge on your jungle pickaxe. This method is not only good for coins, but also for powder, as I was able to find 4 chests in under a minute. The other really good cheap item is the gemstone gauntlet, as it is one of the best mining tools out there and doesn't really cost a lot. Also, all the drills better than the gauntlet cost more than 100 million. The armadillo is legit the best pet for mining, if you know how to use it. Even with low powder, one can make millions from this pet, as you can put all your powder into mining fortune, as mining speed doesn't matter. I'll link a guide to armadillo mining in the description. Watch it after you watch this video, please. One of the most underrated pets in Skyblock is probably the Grandma Wolf. Leveling the pet increases the duration of the combo perk, which buffs a lot of money-making methods, including combat pet leveling and sorrow farming. The Lion Pet is extremely broken for its price. It probably won't outdamage an E-Drag, but it is the best mid-game pet out there. Now for some really good items you should get. If you play tank in dungeons, get a Mender Crown, as it is better than the Reaper Mask. If you are an early game player and you are struggling with Zealots, Revenant Horror or Tarantula, get an Aurora Staff, as it's really broken. A Fire Veil Wand is a must have for every mage. A Voodoo Doll is like a cheap eye spray that also deals a lot of damage. So if you are a Berserker, you should definitely use it. It is especially famous among non-mage miniboss grinders. I've also heard that the Gloomlock Grimoire is really good, but I don't really use it, as it costs a decent bit of soul flow. Yeah, the video's done. Also, turns out there were 26 tips. Whoops. If you watch the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you want to more videos like this, click the button below. If you want to continue watching more content, click the button on the right. If you want to support the channel, please join the Discord and don't forget to leave comments as I read all comments.